Brain tech, yeah? Where tech is made simple. So the Google Chrome web browser and the Microsoft Edge web browser, as many of you may know who do use uh, the browsers, have um, options to improve your spell checking. Now, over and above the basic spell checking um, option uh, in both browsers, we get enhanced spell checking in both browsers. And for Google Chrome, that's actually called enhanced spell check. And for Microsoft Edge, uh, that is the Edge's Microsoft Editor. Now, um, recent research has actually found that um, if you are using the enhanced spell check in Chrome and the um, Microsoft Edge's um, uh, the Microsoft Editor, um, that your data is actually being sent to um, both Microsoft and Google, which is maybe not a good idea if you are concerned about uh, privacy. Now, um, in Google Chrome, to get to the enhanced spell check, we head to the menu in the top right, click on settings, head over to languages. And for um, the Google Chrome web browser, basic spell check is actually the default option and is toggled on by default by Google. Now, um, enhanced spell check, you actually have to enable manually. But if you have, um, it says uh, enhanced spell check uses the same spell checker that's used in Google search. And then they say, text you type in the browser is sent to Google. So Google is actually admitting that your data is sent to the Google servers when you enable enhanced spell check. Now, if we head to Microsoft Edge, how you get to the Microsoft editor is very similar. You head to the menu settings, head over to languages. And yeah, we have the Microsoft editor. Now with uh, Microsoft, it's a little bit different. Um, the editor is actually the recommended option and it's toggled on by default where the basic option um, is not the default option like it is in Google Chrome. So Microsoft have already um, enabled the enhanced spell checker by default and it says for Microsoft editor, editor provides grammar, spelling and style suggestions so you can confidently write clear, concise posts and emails on the web now. Um, Unlike Google, who have actually acknowledged that your data is being sent to um, their Google servers, Microsoft does not. But um, recent research um, that's been done, as mentioned, um, and that's by a company, a Java, JavaScript security company named AutoJS, and I hope I'm pronouncing that right. And um, the, the AutoJS company has discovered that um, the browsers um, were sending um, your type data automatically. Um, after both the uh, Microsoft editor and the enhanced spell check were enabled in the browsers. And this is including um, your data, like your email addresses, your usernames, um, anything you've typed as comments or in forms in both browsers. So as mentioned, maybe not a good idea if you are concerned about privacy. Now, um, although um, their research showed that your passwords that you entered in both Edge and Chrome and when these features were toggled on and um, was not submitted by default and um, when you have the option to show password so for some password fields you can actually click on a show password toggle that lets you see your password when you type it in just in case you don't want to make a mistake as an example so when the show password option um, on websites was used then your passwords are actually submitted to both Microsoft and the Google servers, which um, is not a good idea because they then have access to your passwords. And then the research also showed that um, your passwords then were sent to third party companies with your other information that you had been that you had submitted uh, into uh, your browsers. Now, this research, as I mentioned, was done by a company called Otto or Otto JS. And um, yeah, is that post of theirs which is dated the 16th of September which was just a couple of days ago and they go into very in-depth information here so if this would be of interest and you are concerned about um, what I've mentioned in the video regarding privacy and um, then I'll leave a link in the description so you can come read up more yeah, in depth as it will give you a lot more information as I've just basically um, summarized uh, for you in the video today just to basically give you a warning in case that would be of interest and you are concerned about your data being sent to both the Microsoft and or Google servers. Now, obviously, if you um, are concerned, um, how you can um, disable the options is, first of all, if you don't need writing assistance, you can just toggle it off completely and that will turn off um, all the writing assistance in Edge. Or you can just click basic 
and that will um, then um, stop your data being sent as mentioned to the Microsoft service and um, that's how you can disable that in Microsoft Edge and for Google Chrome um, obviously um, as mentioned the basic spell check is on by default but if you have um, toggle on enhanced spell check then maybe you want to just turn that back to basic spell check and then obviously you can also just toggle off the whole spell check and those spell check options um, and that will just disable any spell check options in the Google Chrome web browser. So that's how you can prevent your data being sent to Microsoft and or Google. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.